Hey guys, uh, we're here now our beer tasting uh, with Big Bite Japan. Thank you to those of you who've stuck around and listened to me ramble. Uh, and also thanks, I guess, to those of you who might have just uh, joined us and have decided to fast forward to this part of the commercial because uh, I guess you're really interested to see how Falco from Evil Twin Brewing is going to taste. Um, but before we get to that, let me get to the review of the um, Berliner Weiss with Yumberry, the Extra Yum by Mikeller Brewery, which was uh, brewed and canned by Mikeller in San Diego, California. Uh, from what I remember, Mikeller are kind of the vagabonds of craft brewing. Uh, I thought they kind of just travel around and make craft beer or whatever, so I don't know if all their craft beer are now brewed and bottled in California or just this beer was. So again, if you know, please leave some uh, comments in the section uh, in below and let me know. Uh, so anyway, the beer, um, as I continue to drink it, I think I noticed the yum berry. Again, I have no idea what a yum berry is, so thus I don't know what a yum berry tastes like, but at first when I had the beer, it tasted quite similar to the ghosts in that it was a bit tart, but uh, uh, Berliner Weiss again is distinguished by the syrup that's added to the beer, and I noticed that as I continued to drink it. Uh, so it certainly helped that I emptied the entire can into the glass and uh, I think that brought about the, the flavors more and uh, anyway, um, it was really good. Uh, I, I suggest if you're going to have a Berliner Weiss to have a wide vessel to drink it from, uh, it, it really opens up the flavors. And uh, I don't know, what would I rate it? Uh, again, from zero to five. I would give the taste a four. The uh, drinkability also a four. Um, yeah, it was very, it was, it was, it was delicious. And uh, the smell, the aroma, a three. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a solid beer. But again. Uh, much like the Stillwater Ghost Gone Wild, do you want to spend 10 or $11 on a pint of beer that you're drinking at home? That's the question you must make for yourself, I guess. Uh, or a question you must make, I guess. Yeah, it's a question you're going to make for yourself. It's a question you must answer for yourself. One that I cannot do for you. Uh, if it, but. I don't see myself necessarily drinking it that often, but it's 7.5% and not that I drink beers specifically just based on what the alcohol content, but um, it's the sort of beer where I could have, you know, two or three and I don't know, have had my fill. Uh, but next, let's move on to the IPA by Evil Twin Brewing Falco. Again, like I indicated earlier, I've never had Evil Twin Brewing. Maybe I've had, I'd like to think that I would have remembered it, but I don't think I've had it before. Um, and it's an IPA, uh, supposedly juicy IPAs are all the rage now, or maybe they no longer are. Um, but I don't think this is a juicy IPA. I could be mistaken. It doesn't really talk, I don't know. Yeah. It has something that it says here on the back. I don't think you care what it is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Mm, yeah, nothing about being juicy. So, uh, there we go. I'm going to open it up and pour myself a glass. Again, it would have been better if I had a pint glass to drink this out of, but I don't. And I just like to let you know that I do not receive any proceeds from premium malts for this bit of advertising that I am doing on their behalf. 
<laughs> sure, I'm all of you could guess. All these beers were paid for by myself. Uh, I was, uh, these are just all my honest opinion and uh, hopefully I don't offend any of you who happen to be uh, McKellar or Stillwater um, fans. I think they, again, they were great beers, but uh, I just think they're slightly overpriced and maybe that's not their fault. I forget what their prices would be like in, in America. Don't think I ever drank Stillwater and don't remember what McKellar was like in New York when I was living there, uh, when I went to their place in Brooklyn. I remember it again, not being cheap, but not being unreasonable. But, okay, enough said. I sometimes ramble, I apologize, because this is, as you can probably tell, completely unscripted. So now for the the IPA. Um, hmm, I don't know, nice. In this video, it looks less golden. It's a little bit more, I don't know, orangey colored here. Let's see. Yeah, definitely smells like an IPA. <sighs> mm, yep. Got a hmm, mellow taste to it, I guess. Um, sorry, I was letting the flavors hit me. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Um, not much of a head. Maybe that's because I didn't pour the whole thing. Uh, I washed the glass before I used it again. Um, I don't know, some people don't like the head on their drink. I like to see some. I mean, if I go to a bar and, and pour the drink, I don't want half of it to be filled with head, but I think the head retains some of the flavors and the smell, and uh, it's not a bad sign. But anyway. Pretty good, I, I like it quite a lot. Um, there, are, I can remember some IPAs that were, I don't know, it felt like you had bitten into a tree and you were like, had resin in all of, in your mouth, um, or whatever the hell you call it. Hopefully we don't have to bleep that part out. Um, yeah, so it it's pretty good. Uh, taste wise, I would give it a, a, a four. Uh, tempted to give it a five, but anyway, a four. Um, Drinkability wise, I'd give it a, a four also. And smell wise, I'd give it a four. The aroma is, is, was quite nice. It's a, I think, uh, a commendable effort in the IPA department. It's, uh, again, unfortunately, this is a, <laughs> uh, I'm like a broken record here. These, it's, uh, do you want to spend $9 for a beer to drink at home? Uh, not if it's only 500 or less milliliters, but uh, but I have no choice in that matter. If I want to drink this type of beer, that's the, that's the, the going price. I'm not disappointed in it. So uh, yeah, really, really good beer. Very well balanced, not over with the 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 um, the bitterness or IBUs or whatever you call it. So I don't know. I guess it seems like it's time for the obligatory ranking um, of these beers. Uh, of all of them, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the. Stillwater, the Ghost Gone Wild. I really enjoy the style. It might have been because I haven't had a ghost in a long time. But yeah, it's very refreshing. Uh, so easy to drink. Really nice flavor. Uh, not overpowering. Something that I look for when I drink beers these days or, or, or any alcohol for that matter. Um, yeah, very good. Um, I could drink this all day. Uh, I'm sure that Emmy would have something to say about that if I chose to do that, but but if I was allowed to, yeah, that, that's what I would do. Uh, second, I'm going to put it the, uh, 
the Falco here, the IPA. Uh, I don't drink IPAs much these days. They're, uh, I don't know. Yeah, they're, it's not my favorite style. Um, the whole juicy IPA thing is, uh, is a bit interesting, but um, I drink most of my beers at home and it's hard to find that style to bring home. So uh, anyway, needless to say, this was, this was really good. Uh, if you're in the States and uh, you can find this beer, I definitely would give it a, a thumbs up. Uh, and last, the Mikeller uh, Extra Yum. Uh, I'll say this, I love the artwork. I've considered buying artwork by the artist. I can't remember his name for the life of me, but that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate his work. Um, so, uh, anyway, the, the reason why I mention that is, um, I don't know, it's all a matter of what you're willing to spend on things, and I just, I, I, I don't I, I think McKellar is a bit pricey, though well, I guess all these are a bit pricey, aren't they? Um, but I guess the, 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 the hype that they receive doesn't match the end product, so, anyway, this was real, this was good, I liked it. it very solid Berliner Weiss. Uh, again, if you can find it and it doesn't cost you 11 bucks, I would suggest giving it a try. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty nice beer. I am not regretting purchasing it. And uh, I think that uh, I will use the excuse of making these videos to, to purchase more beers that I normally wouldn't uh, for the sake of uh, my YouTube followers, you know, all of you out there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, or at least enjoyed again the rambling on video. This thing is completely unedited. I did this partially just to see how I am on camera. Um, beforehand, I was a bit awkward. Uh, <coughs> I might look a bit awkward now too, but anyway, also this, I figured would save down on editing time so we can get videos out to you. But uh, anyway, important thing, uh, please click the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're really interested, please let me know in the comments so that way, I can convince Emmy it's worth the effort. And um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you wind up drinking these beers, you know, just let me know what your thoughts are. And if you have other beers that you think I should look for, also let me know. Cool guys. Uh, take it easy. Bye bye.